interest rates. This is probably the most talked about and hot topic factor when it comes into purchasing a home. The neat thing is, is that I've never had a client say, I want the highest interest rate that you can offer. So we're all in this together. We want the lowest interest rate that we can get. And I just wanted to explain a little bit about how the interest rate market works so that when you see newspaper articles or you see a, hear a radio ad that says we're advertising this, being more informed of how the rates go up and down, you'll feel a lot safer about the transaction. So to give you a brief economic lesson so you can be a mortgage nerd like the rest of us, um, there are investors, so how the process works, and this is on fixed mortgage rates because adjustable rates work a little bit differently, but investors purchase things called mortgage-backed securities, and the mortgage-backed securities are treasury bonds, the 30-year bond, 10-year um, bond, but it works just like any other bond. And the investors purchased these at a rate of return. And for this example, let's say that they purchased it at a 4% rate of return. These mortgage-backed securities actually come from Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. They are the two lenders that issue money and issue the guidelines for banks. It could be any bank. It could be the Sente Mortgage Bank. It could be... Wells Fargo, Chase, but all the banks, we'll put the banks here, get their money from Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Freddie Mac get their money by these mortgage-backed securities that come from the pockets of these wealthy investors. And that's how it works. So if the investors are spending 4%, then they're going to tack on, let's just call it a servicing fee of 0.25. So now this is at a cost of four and a quarter. Then when they sell the mortgage-backed security to Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac, they add the servicing fee of, let's just say for hypothetically, another quarter. So now the interest rate's at four and a half percent. This means the par rate costing the banks zero amount of money would be at four and a half percent. That's what they would lend to the banks. So do you think the banks Chase, Wells Fargo, Sente, do you think they're going to lend at 4.5% the cost of what it, it costs them to borrow the funds? Absolutely not. They're in business to make money, and lots of it. So the banks will add their own servicing fee, let's call it again another quarter percent. So now your interest rate that you're getting is this 4.5 plus 4.25 the best rate that you can get is 4.75 because you can't go direct to Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac and an individual can't go direct here or here. We can only go here unless you, you know one of these people, maybe, that's called a private investor. Otherwise, we all get our money from the same place, which is basically here. So what we do as a mortgage banker, since we're an unbiased lender, we work with several banks and we work with Fannie Mae Direct because our job is to find you the best interest rate. And what that means is, we all know what Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac's rates are. They're published every Thursday. So if you want a good starting point, go to Freddie Mac's website, pull up every Thursday what their going rate is. Then know that when we get your loan contract and we have a property address that we can lock an interest rate to, because we can't lock a rate until we have a property, what I do is I take your entire mortgage scorecard, which consists of 26 things. There's literally 26 items that make up your mortgage scorecard. And that scorecard is what we send out to all of our lenders and to Fannie Mae and say, which one of you guys, you have 24 hours, which one of you are going to service the loan at the cheapest cost? Because we know what this is. So they all compete for our business. Obviously, as a lender and a correspondent lender, we have a much stronger purchasing power because we do billions of, of loans every year in our five different offices across Texas. Our purchasing power means more to these banks than you, an individual, going into a retail bank that might have your accounts there or you might have done your loan there in the past, but the revenue that they can make off of you, no matter how much money you have in the account, will never be as competitive as a company that does billions of loans. So they fight for your business. 
we get the top two lenders, let's say hypothetically it's BB&T and, and, and Chase Bank. I've got those two and then I say, okay, you two are the top two, you got 24 hours, who's going to give us the best deal? And that's how we, at a correspondent lender like Sente Mortgage, whom you've probably never heard of, we don't advertise, we don't market, what we do is we monitor how these mortgage-backed securities are trending. There's another video that talks about how you can see how economic news affects these mortgage-backed securities, which could cause interest rates to go up or down. But as far as locking in your interest rate and how we shop to find you the best home loan and the best interest rate is because we are an unbiased lender that has access to all these accounts.